Hello and welcome to part 21 and the final free lesson in the Web Intersect Social Networking Community Website Building Series in PHP, MySQL, and Flash. And the rest of the the series that will take you further into your system if needed. Um, as those lessons are produced, you can purchase them from Web Intersect directly and those videos won't be on the YouTube grid. And all the details for that will be at Web Intersect real soon. Okay, so this lesson is going to be dealing with mostly just some cosmetic things on the design end, and I didn't want to leave out and have people uh, have too many questions about. The objective here is to get our home page blab data, or any data that you have coming out of your database or what have you. It might have a long list. You might want to put it into a content scroller, a div scroller and I'm going to show you how to set that up and also on the profile page when you're viewing anybody's profile if they happen to have a lot of data you see how it's the blab section on my profile now that I have a lot of blabs in there it's pushing my details down and I don't want that I want to have it in a nice manageable space so and just a few showing then people can scroll to see all the rest and it's all going to be HTML based so it's all good we'll go into the profile.php page so let's open and first I'll just show you how to do the profile page first and then doing the home page I won't show because it's the same process so first let's show the home page or the profile.php page let's go to design view in Dreamweaver and I'm working in Dreamweaver CS4 and uh, we'll go to the blab section here and highlight this blabber display list PHP block go to the code view now once we're in code view we can just right below the blabber display form and under that break tag we'll push that down a little bit and right here we're going to set a div so let's say div style and in styles we're going to set the width to 100% that way it fills the space in that area semicolon height and this is really the one I'm after the height I'm gonna to set to about 180 see how that looks 180 px for pixels semicolon then we're gonna set the overflow and this is important to get the scroller overflow scroll that will make sure that if there's enough data well, there will always be a scroll. Actually, we can put overflow auto. That will make more sense. So, if there's enough data to warrant a scroll being there, then it will be there. That's what that means. And we're going to set the overflow X, which I don't think is a default in the pull downs there. So, we'll just pop it in overflow dash X colon hidden and this hides any scroll bar that might be showing that might show up a horizontal scroll bar the ones that go left to right we only want the vertical scroll bar so we set the overflow X to hidden so there will be no horizontal scroll bar and now all we have to do is close off this starting div tag and then put the closing div tag here and that's it now we save by pressing control s ftp it up i'm using filezilla once again profile.php let's go ahead and look at my page and if i refresh now i should see everything is in a nice scroller that's beautiful now let's make sure we're all good by going to safari and testing it out there because safari is the same engine that runs um, oops I spelled it wrong oh, well. um, it's the same engine that runs Google Chrome and several other very popular browsers and many people don't know that Google Chrome is using the same engine that runs the uh, Safari browser here so let's look at my profile and make sure we have a scroller in this browser as well just to make sure our CSS and HTML setup is universal beautiful 
and I must say I really love Safari's default scrollers they're beautiful they're a lot prettier than Internet Explorers and Firefoxes so that's how you can get any kind of content you want into a div scroller and I'm gonna do the same thing to the home page here so I can have more uh, section or area to to play with more real estate on my page to put uh, pertinent data okay I told you that was a short sweet one and it sure was so on the profiles now we have a scroller and you'll see on the home page there'll be a scroller as well and the source code the free source package will reflect that okay we'll see you guys next lesson